What's good, Tribe? It's Energy. I'm back with another Pick a Card reading. So this message was meant to reach you exactly where you are right now, so it's timeless. It doesn't matter when you clicked on this video. I'm your energy reader for today. I'm going to be channeling a message directly from the universe for a message you were meant to hear right now. So if you guys are here and you're not aware, the universe communicates in various ways. I've been saying this a lot lately, so the universe does not have a hand, does not have a mouth. So therefore, the universe delivers messages through people, through signs, through numbers, through feelings, could be through your senses, could be through your dreams. And in this sense, I'm going to be channeling a message directly from the universe using pretty much everything that is right now happening in this moment to channel the energy for exactly what you need to hear. So obviously, this moment in time was carved out for you and I to be here. So it's already destined for you to be there. So already I'm getting messages. I have three cards that you can choose from. You can find those timestamps down below in the pinned comment or in the description box. You will see three cards here behind me. And all of these cards are different energies. So I'm going to be channeling a message directly from the universe, depending on which card you're most drawn to is going to most likely be the message you need to hear right now in this moment. So I'm feeling like this is going to bring you clarity, encouragement, also empowerment, a little bit of inspiration. So let's jump into the reading and see what the universe has to say. All right, if you guys were drawn to card one, this is your reading in exactly what you were meant to hear right now. So this is your reading if you were drawn to card one. All right, I'm already feeling like you're going to be deepening your connection with the universe is what I'm hearing. All right, this is going to also mean less time from distractions. Distractions being anything that's taking your energy or focus away from what you truly desire. What really truly matters deep down to you are going to be your desires. So I'm already sensing that there's going to be more of a deeper connection that the universe is having with you, card one. All right, let's see what the overall energy is for card one, if they were drawn to this card. They were drawn to card one, thank you. All right, the sun, I love it. So the sun, we have also at the very bottom, the magician and the mirror. So what I'm sensing here, card one, is that there is going to be more of a revealing of the manifesting power that you do have. All right, so with the sun card here, I'm really feeling like this next chapter in your life is meant to be one that's aligned with joy, that is also meant to be aligned with happiness. All right, let me get three cards for the current energy for card one. Why were they called to this? What is the message that they need to hear exactly where they are right now? So I'm hearing that you are learning more about the authority and the ability that you do have. All right, I'm also feeling like justice is going to be happening in your life. I'm hearing that things are going to be restored. All right, you are also in the process of manifesting. Dreams are arriving very soon if you are on this card. Thank you. All right. So we have a new perspective that is being forged here. We also have the seven of water, seven of cups, and the five of cups. All right, so we have a lot of emotional changes. I believe right now this is a very pivotal time for you to be aware of how you feel. All right, I'm also sensing that your dream world could be very heightened. If you find that your dream world is very heightened, it usually means that, yes, you can be very inspired, but it can also mean that the universe may find it difficult to communicate with you in the physical world so it's overstimulating in the dream world. So that's something that I'm picking up as well with the seven of cups. All right, you guys could be a water sign. You don't have to be. We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio on the board here. So we have you being worried about maybe some decisions. It is important for you to deepen your connection with the universe so that you can have clarity on some decisions that maybe, maybe you're worried about, okay, is what I'm picking up. You don't want to regret things. You don't want to make the wrong decision. I'm getting, you don't want to make the wrong decision here. All right, so let's see what this is about. Go ahead and clarify why the hangman is here, 12 awakening. Look at things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. Let's go and clarify the seven of water. And let's clarify the five of water. All right. 
So if you guys were drawn to card number one, I'm feeling that this is a very important time for you to be in tune with your emotions and how you feel. All right. There is a path that you're that you're not seeing just yet. You have many paths that are going to be presented to you. So it feels like a very complex decision on what to do. But I'm sensing that we have the need to research, stop procrastinating. So we have the three of cups, two of wands, ace of cups in reverse, ace of wands in reverse. So I'm seeing that the universe is going to be forging two new paths for you in your life that maybe you're not seeing because there's so many options. All right. What the best option is going to be for you is going to be the option that is aligned with the sun. So with the sun being the overall energy, the sun is joy. This is the joy card, the happiest card in the entire deck. All right. So this is about your overall fulfillment of happiness, your sense of feeling warm in your heart. All right. This goes for your relationships. This goes for your career. Everything in your life being centered around the sun is what I'm hearing. Centered around joy, centered around love. All right. So this is what's really, really important right now in your life is that you are aligning everything with joy. So celebration is aligned with joy having a good time, being more social, connecting with more like-minded individuals is something that I see happening that's going to be bringing you a lot of fulfillment. It is almost like you are going to be duplicating how you feel. So it's important that you feel joy so that when you meet people, you're duplicating this version of yourself, which is joy. So with awakening, I'm sensing that the universe is trying to get you to see a different perspective. And so anytime I have the hangman, this usually means that you could have avoided maybe an introspection period in your life. All right. So this is just, once again, it's very important that you're taking time to yourself. You're never alone, but I'm sensing taking time to yourself so that you can see life from your perspective. I'm getting that people around you, how they feel about life could really influence how you feel. And there's something about a new community, new tribe, meeting new people and connecting. So you have a lot of decisions. You have the two of wands here. Could be two different destinations, could be two different career paths, could be two different people, could be two different um explorations that you want to take but he's holding the world in his hand and he's also holding the wand in his hand so it's very important that you know who you are I feel like you were drawn to card number one the purple out of all cards because of the crown chakra but more so I'm getting the third eye chakra awakening being able to see the light in the situation so when things look unknown what is going to be guiding you unknown is simply the dark, the shadow. What is going to be guiding you is the light. And in this sense, they're saying the light is your sun. It is what brings you joy. It is what lights you up. It is what brings you happiness. So I'm sensing that if you find yourself procrastinating, then that means that you're not as excited to do it or you are afraid Either way it goes, this is going back to the ego, all right? Going back to your small sense of self, this old version of you that had old beliefs, old doubts, and old fears are actually going to be, I'm hearing, drifting away as you make your decision. So you have a lot of different things you can do, but I'm hearing the right path for you is going to be the path that brings you the most inspiration and the most fulfillment, the most um, joy. All right, let's get a message from your higher self regarding this Ace of Cups and Ace of Wands. We have two new beginnings in your love life is what I'm getting and also maybe in your career. We have be free to express yourself. So... There's something about passions being ignited here with the Ace of Wands. Let's see why this is in reverse. All right. Ace of Wands. Why is this in reverse? Three of Swords. Justice. Okay. So what is happening currently in your life is a awakening. 
it is exactly what it appears to sound like awakening what is awakening here it's almost as if you're able to see yourself as the magician there's something about getting more connected with yourself talking to yourself connecting with yourself so we have the three of swords in reverse so I'm also getting that in your career, there's going to be a path that is presented as a page of pentacles. It is going to be something that starts out very small, but grows into some type of success here. It's going to mean you taking a leap of faith with the full card here. You taking a leap of faith with the full card here and taking a leap of faith towards the king of cups. We have things not turning out the way you'd hope, not seeing the positive in a situation, crying over spilled milk. So it's almost like spirit is saying that everything is happening for your good. Even if it doesn't seem like it, you will look back and still be very thankful that things unfolded the way it did. So with that being said, save yourself suffering from what has happened in the past, what has not worked out in the past, whether that's love, career, projects that you thought were going to manifest. Again, I'm hearing that your success is aligned with what brings you joy. And I keep saying this, but I think people have overlooked the word joy. All right, this feeling of joy is a feeling that is a state of being. It is a feeling where you are overwhelmed with happiness. It is a very high frequency to be in. This is the frequency that it's required for you to be the magician is what I'm getting. So you're waking up to who you are, who you truly are, your true self. So what I'm sensing is that there are many different things that you are going to want to do in this life is what I'm getting. And a message that you need to hear right now is that if you're finding yourself procrastinating, really take a step back and ask yourself, are you excited to do this? Are you inspired to do this? So is this a fear that you have when it comes to taking a leap of faith towards something or someone you love? That's what I'm getting. A leap of faith towards something or someone you love. Could be both for you if you are here. Remember, there are a lot of you who are drawn to this card. So out of all three of the cards, you were drawn to the purple. And this is bringing me to your third eye, being awake, being able to see the light in any dark situation. This is actually a gift. Most people don't know, but I'm seeing with the awakening, most of these things that have occurred in your life were to awaken you. So many of you, even in your past, all right, things that are coming up that could be connected right now in your past, whether they're triggers, memories, people, whatever's popping up right now in your past. This is a sign that you are releasing the old version of you. And therefore, releasing the old version of you means that you're releasing everything that is attached to that version of you, which happens to be people, jobs, hobbies that you once loved that now you maybe don't. All right, so I'm getting a lot of activation in your third eye, being able to see the light of situations being more aware. It's the things that you went through, the heartbreak, the three of swords. Now you have some of these fears of actually moving forward because of maybe things that have happened in the past. Remember that there's an infinite amount of possibilities for events to happen and play out. So don't limit yourself by just focusing on one. In fact, don't focus on any. Just allow yourself to be free to express yourself from a place within that shines very bright okay i'm getting a lot of activation happening right now in your life that maybe you're not even seeing okay we have things that are changing so what could be changing right now is your relationships with the ace of cups let's just see what this is about why is the ace of cups here for card one we have the six of air yes so 
moving forward from the past. Six of air is like my nostalgic thinking about the past, what occurred in the past, who was a part of the past. You are moving forward. We have taking a trip. Some of you guys could be planning or taking a trip. It is actually, I'm hearing you that's planning the trip that allows the resources for it to come. All right. So for those of you who are desiring to travel very soon and take a vacation, this is what I'm hearing spirits say. You must be focused on the abundance of your life in order to feel like you are abundant enough to take care of everything that's necessary in the physical world, but to also have an overflow for you to be able to take a vacation. I'm sensing focus on the overflow, focus on the overflow. And a lot of your manifestations are going to come a lot sooner because I'm getting six of air, just the way that you were thinking, maybe some of the fears that you had around things working out, manifestations working out. You're really being asked to see things from a higher perspective from a higher light with the awakening here so seeing yourself being able to see yourself as the magician and the mirror so what's mirroring you the magician your reality is the mirror you are the magician and your reality is mirroring who you are being that is really deep that is third eye chakra opening um, verbiage here i'm getting also at the bottom of the deck this is going to help you manifest in the physical world when it comes to your finances. All right. I want to see why the five of pentacles is showing itself here as we close. So five of swords. Yeah. So we have some conflict here. Five of swords, a lot of things that you're overcoming the way you used to see things, seeing things, preparing for the best to happen. And this really means you have to change your mindset and start feeling good about good things happening. All right. Everything in your life is meant to be centered around the sun. Card number one is what I'm getting. So you're going through an awakening. This awakening is allowing you to see more, see more in your life. A lot of the darkness that you've went through, even I'm hearing as a child, anything that you've overcome, any darkness actually activated your gift of awareness. It, it kind of forged your eye to have to open. Whereas a lot of people are not as connected to be able to see and have awareness of what's happening, of awareness of people, reading people, energy reading is what I'm picking up. You do. And I'm, I'm believing it's because of all of the darkness that activated you five of swords here. So you are overcoming self-sabotage. There is no competition. There is no enemy is what I'm hearing. There's no competition and there's no enemy. So the only thing that you're overcoming is bringing harmony with you and your mind. With you and your mind is what I'm getting. So to be focused on the good that is to come. So let's, as we close, what good is coming? All right, we have two cards that are just flipped out right at the bottom. Didn't even have to pull any goddess in magic so yeah look at the purple once again so this is awareness of seeing yourself for who you truly are you have an awareness that is that most people do not you're overlooking this and i'm this is what i'm hearing and i believe that this is actually here to help you you're meant to express yourself as well so i'm seeing that there is some type of passion project that i'm seeing that's going to pay off but once again, it is because it's aligned with the sun. When it's aligned with the sun, you will not have to procrastinate. You will actually automatically just be inspired because it brings you joy. You will not procrastinate. It will bring you so much joy. And anything that instills fear into you or doubt into you is really the older version of yourself that you're letting go. So it says honor your divine feminine energy, which means nurturing yourself, getting to know yourself honoring your emotional space more than your thoughts, your thought space. So really honoring your emotional space here is what I'm getting. So we have love every part of you, see your inner beauty. So there's something that you are waking up to and that is seeing the true you. There's a version of you that is aligned with magic, that believes in miracles where mi magic is surrounding you. We literally have fairies here, we have unicorns, so 
you are meant to really inspire. Your imagination is a gift. It's almost like spirit has to close your physical eyes so that you can start using your third eye and your, your imaginative eye, which is why your dream world is being stimulated if it has not already. Once again, the universe will communicate with us if, if we cannot receive those messages in the physical, our dream world will be overstimulated because this is another way of the universe connecting. And it's, it's, it's because we're so unconscious that we're able to receive and you shouldn't have to be asleep to receive from the universe. You could still be awake. That's the fun part is when the universe becomes your guide and people are fairies and this world is very magical. This is what is meant. Once again, you're the magician. So your world is meant to be magical and you have magic. So that's just confirmation. If you guys were drawn to card number one, this is your reading and a message you were meant to hear exactly for where you are right now. So if you guys feel drawn to the who I am reading or any other rare tarot readings, definitely check out the tarot or check out the description below on to card two. All right. Card two. If you guys were drawn to card two, the blue card. This is your message from the universe for exactly what you need to hear right now. Blue deck two. Let's see what the overall energy is for card two. Why were they drawn to card two? We have a woman holding a coin. All right. So some of you could definitely be focusing very heavily on your career right now at this moment, or maybe just manifesting more material wealth in your environment is what I'm getting here. Let me go ahead and get one more. Yeah, we have door to value. Yeah. So this is really, really good. So I'm seeing that you're getting some type of wake up call when it comes to how much you really are worth, how much value you have to offer. And you, wherever your abundance is, is what I'm hearing is where your abundance lies. So if you have an abundance of wisdom, if you have an abundance of money, if you have an abundance of resources, if you have an abundance of thoughts, an abundance of pictures, what do you have an abundance of? This is where your value lies is what I'm getting. They were drawn to the blue card. Why is that? Three cards. Thank you. Look at this, all this earth sign. You guys could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo. You don't have to be, but this is someone who is just heavily focused on the practicality. So we have the nine of air. A lot of thinking going on right now. All right. I'm hearing meditation, but when you're meditating, make it fun. Find a way to make this fun. You can do this through your imaginative world. You can do this by choosing a song that you really enjoy with the high frequency and maybe allowing yourself to imagine. You're coming up as the star card, so you could be an Aquarius. You could be an earth sign in general, but we have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini here. Lots of thinking, okay? Lots of thinking going on here. Lots of strategizing, and I assure you we have Time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments, a guardian angel. I'm really feeling like there is going to be some type of career change, a very positive one, maybe something that you've been planning for a long time. Once again, you have expertise in something. What have you been spending most of your time doing? What do you enjoy doing most of the time? What are you doing most of the time? Okay, there's a sense of awareness going on here. I'm sensing that we have expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies, sleepless nights. Let's get one more card just to even this out here with the king of air. Okay, so you're in a thinking energy right now. We also have the emperor, so we have Aries energy. You are in manifesting energy. I'm hearing you are stronger than any giant. You will overcome any mountain and any obstacle that you feel is in your way you will overcome it do not expect the worst expect the best because it's already done this is destined for you you have a lot of value to offer whether you're overlooking it whether you're just now seeing it you're coming up as the magician definitely could have been drawn to more than one card here and then we also have the emperor energy so we have a lot more leadership coming in a lot more confidence I'm also feeling sharing your story could be important. Inspiring others can be very important if you guys were drawn to card number two. Something about you allowing yourself to be the positive, optimistic person that you are, are originally or authentically is going to bring a lot of value in your life. So if you are having sleepless nights or coming out of sleepless nights because 
we have once again there is nothing for you to figure out i'm hearing the universe is saying there is nothing for you to figure out you probably have heard this before it is already figured out it is already happening is what i'm hearing nine night of earth it is already slowly happening and you're receiving as much as you allow yourself to receive is what i'm also getting so it's very important that you see that you deserve this is what i'm getting card two you deserve whatever it is that you're manifesting no matter how big it may seem is what i'm getting with the magician and the emperor i'm seeing that you're in an energy of manifestation right now so you are like um on fire okay if you're not seeing this you could be overlooking it because you're focusing on expecting the worst or you're in your head i'm definitely se sensing get out of your head it says speak your mind with confidence there's something about speaking your speaking your truth, expressing yourself. You're the star here. You're also coming up as the magician and the emperor. You could be meeting people as well that are a lot like you. We have the star, the magician, and the emperor. We have like a dream team. For some of you guys, you could be athletes. You don't have to be. I'm just pulling energy from what I'm getting. I'm getting athletes, a dream team. Um, manifesting a tribe for those of you who are here is what I'm getting as well. And I'm also seeing balancing your, how much logic and analyzing you are actually doing. Because what it is that you are manifesting is not coming from a place of logic. Okay, we have leadership at the bottom of the deck. Yes, step into leadership, share your message, inspire and empower others. This is what I'm getting. This is where a lot of value is going to come in. A lot of success is coming in. So whatever you're doing in your life right now, if you are focusing heavily on your career, we are redefining the word career here. You are, you are the magician, meaning you can have whatever it is that you desire. That is the truth. Whatever it is that you desire, you already have, which is why you desire it. That's taking it one step further. So I'm sensing we have happy time, make positive, optimistic, long-term plans on the right path so plan as if everything worked out and here's the thing you guys could be coming from card one but i'm just sensing that we think that when things don't work out our way that they're not working out that is not true that means that our plan is too much involved our plan is too involved remember you have access to the universe the universe is giving you these channel downloads whether it comes from for your ideas for your business ideas for career, ideas to share your message, share your story. You could be content creators here. Um, even if you're not content creators, your light is very important and you know this. You're on a path of light. You're on a path to share your light, speak your light, tell your light, and it's not by coincidence. Tell me what it is that they're coming into if they're here in the next chapter of their life. Flow, yes, allowing things to flow. We have a lot of green, we have a lot of blue. Okay, so what I'm picking up is relying heavily on strategy strategy belongs to your mind analytics belong to your mind and these are great tools to have when strategy is involved but what it is that you are manifesting here is inspiration empowerment uh, freedom and these things are not tangible these things are not things they're abstract they're feeling states of being that you desire to be in and in this sense what i'm getting is this is not something you have to make happen this is something that's already happened, which is why you can imagine it, which is why you desire it. This is proof. This is evidence that this is what you're here to do is what I'm hearing. The universe will give you dreams, will give you images, will give you clues. And don't wait to live in your dreams. Every day is an opportunity to do something differently that is aligned with the life that you dream to experience here on earth is what I'm getting. So you are on the right path. If you're here, this is literally just a pit stop for me to tell you you're on the right path. We have the 10 of wands in reverse. Let's see what's happening here. Something's ending. Okay, justice here. Okay, something is ending that has been very, very challenging, very, very difficult, a very, very difficult time. Um, maybe someone around you is going through a difficult time here. We have justice and we have ace of swords. So I'm seeing a new perspective here. A lot of i'm really getting that you you are meant to just there's an easier path there's ease you could have heard this recently 
there's ease, there's peace that you are meant to be in. You are not meant to be in defense mode. You shouldn't have to be in defense mode. You shouldn't have to be in plan mode. You shouldn't have to be in survival mode. You shouldn't have to sleep with one eye open. You're going to have a new perspective also on protection and how the universe is actually protecting you. So that's another message that I'm just randomly picking up here. But we have surrender the outcome, release your expectations. So yes, once again, the flow, we think that, oh, it didn't happen our exact way. No, your way was very limited. Our human strategy is limited when it comes to comparing it to the infinite intelligence that you have access to. Some of you could be a, mu a musician. Some of you could be an artist and spirit is saying, get your voice out, speak up, spread your light. Even if it's knowledge about hummingbirds, I keep talking about how random these things are. They don't have to be saving the world. Okay, some of you guys have this perspective when I say leadership, share your message, share your story, content creating. You get, there could be a little bit of ooh behind it. Like, no, this is who you are. You're the magician. You're the emperor. You're meant to be a leader. You're meant to be a star. You're meant to be followed. You're meant to be observed. You're actually going to help more people by the observe the observation of you living it than you talking about it and telling it. So even you living in it. So your heart chakra is opening to, to more love. Love is, I feel loved by the most high, the universe, God, whichever you believe in. And this energy is guiding me. This, this essence is guiding me every step of the way, guiding me to all of my desires. And in this sense, it's resources, it's money. And this is so funny to me <laughs> because I tell you guys to do the vision board, right? And I don't know if you're on this deck, but it's reminding me of a vision board that I had a life coaching client send to me. And on her vision board was just her like little cartoons, like in a bunch of money, piles of money. And it's like, this is why I tell you guys that you don't really desire money. And this is something that you really have to dig deep to see for yourself. And I just said to myself, if you do get, let's just say 10 million is the number I'm hearing, 10 million in cash, right? Are you going to jump in the money and, and just swim in it because you just love money for itself, not what it does for you? Because that would be using. But loving money itself. Are you planning on doing nothing with this because you love it so much, this, this piece of paper? And so I said, focus on what you're going to do with all that money because I assure you, you're not going to be jumping in piles of it. This is not, you're going to be spending it. You're going to be getting what you truly desire. And money is just a resource to that. And so when you're focused on money and it's not coming as much as you want it to come, it's because you don't truly desire it. It's just a resource that must be obtained in order for you to get your desires. And because of that, everybody loves it. But we have to get down to the truth. Do you really love it? Those who love it will manifest it easily because they just love it. They just literally want to smell it, want to hold it, want to jump in piles of it. But you, you have to ask yourself, what would you do with 10 million? Now, if you're saying you're going to leave it there and never touch it because you love it so much, that's what you would do, right? If you had your favorite pair of shoes, you wouldn't go buy them and you love it so much. And the first thing you would do, sell them the next day. No, you didn't really love them. You just wanted to get money from them. And so the difference is with money, when you're focused on this, this is why it's very challenging. If you're finding challenges for it to come or if it's coming slowly, it is because it's your path, your way, which is very limited. When you're open to all ways of it coming to you, you will find it on the floor. People will randomly give it to you. People will donate it to you. You will find that maybe a shirt that you put up for sale three years ago sold 10 of them and you had an extra $200 to pay. Like this is the way it works by being open to to it but once again focusing on what you desire your desires are what is attracting the resources and the abundance to obtain it your desires are what's literally 
what you're connected to because you're so passionate about it, whether it's a pair of headphones you want, a scooter that you really want, a car that you want, a home that you want, a hotel building that you want, seven homes that you want. Focus on the desire and then the resource on how you get it will come. But if you're focusing just on a plan to make this money, once again, to buy all of this, it is not, it is coming from your king of air energy, which is your intellect. And once again, my king of air is my Steve Jobs card. This is someone who is meant, like your mind is meant to be very inventive, very creative. And so sometimes you have to balance it, even with the flow here, balancing it with the magician, when to use your logic and strategy and when to use your manifestation ability. Manifestation meaning, okay, I'm going to focus on what I desire because that's what I'm passionate about. That's what I love, right? It'll naturally come much easier than if, if you were focused just on the money. Because again, once you get the money, if you really loved it, you wouldn't spend it so quickly. Doesn't matter how much it is, okay? So most people are spending most of their life trying to get something that they don't even want. If every store in the world said we only took Jolly Ranchers, how many people would still care about money? I guess we're getting ready to see with the cryptocurrency. How many people really care about money? Pretty soon we'll find $100 bills on the floor and we'll walk past it because it will, it'll be worth nothing. We don't really want money. We want freedom, <laughs> okay? So it's very important that you understand this so that you can take a step back and let the channel messages be delivered to you. So leadership is what I'm getting here. You have value that's coming from your leadership. Let's see what else is coming in for you. What else does your future self want you to know if you're here? So there's a whole new perspective here. You don't have to work hard for this. Think about it. If it's meant for you, why would you have to work hard for it? Okay, we're really letting go of some of these beliefs here. With the nine of air, we have expecting the worst, not knowing what's going to happen. But your focus should be on what you desire to happen. What do you desire to happen? Thank you. I didn't even have to shuffle. All because you believe you deserve what you desire in life, no matter how big that may seem. I think I said that today. All because you believe. So believing is not strategy. It's not analytical, right? And so if you're finding yourself in a place of worry, stress, in any sense, this means that you are not feeling good, which means you're not feeling God. You're not feeling connected. You're not feeling aligned. So whatever it is that's bringing you, and it's really the places in your life where I'm seeing you have to let go of the most control and allow the universe to deliver. You may be so used to going out and getting it yourself, whether it's resources, whatever that may be. And I'm seeing that this cycle is ending here. I want to see why the 10 of wands is in reverse. Oh, we did get clarity on that, huh? Justice. Yeah, so something is definitely ending here. A new, a new perspective, a new path is going to be given to you. Maybe something you didn't see before. All right, so if you guys were drawn to this card, Nine of Swords, in reverse, in the upright, regardless, it's a sleepless night, being worried, being stressed. Okay? Now, what I'm getting is the universe is saying that you desire and you deserve what you desire in life, no matter how big that may seem. So it is because of who you are. Once again, the magician, I had card one, have the magician as well. So you guys could have been coming from that. The magician, the star, who are you? This is an, also a reading I dropped on the tarotchest.com. You guys can see who am I. The star card was also featured in there. You are waking up to who you truly are, the, the version of you who is already abundant. So therefore, you must get comfortable with receiving what you're asking for. Card two, your message. Get comfortable with receiving what you're asking for. If it's an overflow of money, if it's an overflow of abundance, if it's an overflow of inspiration, get ready to receive what you're asking. Things may have seemed like they were going slow, but I'm getting buckled up. So I'm, I'm, I'm sensing like some type of turbo boost into the right direction. And so it's going to be like you're riding a wave. Allow yourself to just be carried by the wave. Let yourself be like Allow yourself to go with the flow rather than make a, figure out a strategy on what to do here. Because what I'm sensing is that you have the ability with a magician here to manifest what it is that you truly desire. And you deserve it no matter how big it is. 
So once again, spirits getting comfortable, you getting comfortable with your value, having confidence in what you deserve, having confidence in what you have to bring to the world, your value, your value is priceless. Therefore, allow resources, opportunities to flow to you from endless places, endless places, not just one career path. Be open to all, okay? So if you're finding yourself at the nine of swords, this means that you're getting to a place of letting go here. Once you let go of just feeling like you have to figure it out, figure, feeling like you have to, yeah, figure it out. Spirit is actually guiding you through you channeling specific messages here. Spirit is actually guiding you is what I'm hearing. Let's see what you're being guided towards. We have prosperity at the bottom of the deck. Lots of abundance, lots of prosperity coming in for you, card number two. And spirit is guiding you to it. So right now, it's like I'm seeing a hose and I'm seeing water wanting to flow through it. And I'm seeing a kink in the hose. And the kink in, in the hose is just you sort of trying to figure it out, trying to strategize in any way possible. And remember, we should feel at peace and relieved to know that we don't have to strategize and come up with all of these crazy plans to make this happen. That is not why you can see the future. That's not why you can sense where you're going. You can feel your dreams and your desires. They're just simply clues to, to the previews of what you're getting ready to experience. So make positive, optimistic plans, prepare for the best. And so look at this, abundance, that's crazy. Abundance and prosperity. That is what you are meant to experience and the universe is actually guiding you to receiving this. A message that you need to hear right now, there's a lot, there's a lot happening right now that you're not seeing. And this is about you, the star, the magician, the leader, the emperor. Okay, some of you could become CEOs, some of you could become just leaders, directors, and the biggest CEO and director and leader is the universe. So once you realize this, you realize that you do not have to make this happen or figure it out. It's not for you to figure out, okay? And you should feel relieved and peace because it's already destined for you. So now you're just channeling what is destined for you because you know you're meant to have more and we have door to value. Do you know your value? When you know your value and you vibrate on that energy, you will attract a reality that reflects that. So I'm moving on to card three. Card three, if you guys were drawn to the pink fuchsia card at the very end, card three, this is a message you were meant to hear directly from the universe. So if you are here, it's obviously not by coincidence that you are here and that you decided to choose this deck. I'm sensing a sense of independence, financial independence coming in for you, stability coming in for you. You are meant to be financially free is what I'm hearing, card three. Financially free, stable, not dependent on anyone, and it doesn't feel good because it simply doesn't feel good to depend on someone to give you, you what you deserve is what I'm hearing, okay? So let's just see what the three cards are and then we're gonna get into your energy card three we have three cards here card three they were drawn to this card message for card three thank you all right we have the page of water so we have a lot of we have a lot of childlike energy here the sun yeah i love it so card one you could have been drawn to card one also if you're here definitely could have been card uh drawn to card one if you're here also with the sun card, we have happy outcome. Something's getting ready to work in your favor, a happy outcome. You're getting ready to channel some type of business idea, some type of very small beginning to a financial freeing space for you in your life. So don't overlook this. This is something that is gonna come from an intuitive place. It is gonna feel good. It's gonna allow you to be artistic. It's gonna allow you to express the art that you have to share from your heart. It is also going to allow you to make connections with people who also like the same things is what I'm getting. So we have a sense of successfulness that's coming, good news about financial matters, wanting to do something more challenging, a new area of study, a new person enters your life. All right, so we have a few things going on here. So overall, we have the sun card here, ace of water at the bottom of the deck. So falling in love. So lots of things happening, card three. 
If you're here and you were drawn to card three, the answer is yes for many things, okay? Get comfortable with yes. Get comfortable with being approved. Get comfortable with things working out for you in your favor is what I'm hearing. Get comfortable to feel good. Get comfortable to receive compliments. Get comfortable for things to work out without having to do a lot of work. Get comfortable with realizing that you can receive rewards even if you didn't have to work hard or be challenged to get it. It's supposed to come easy. That's why you're going to be successful at it. It's easy to you is what I'm hearing. It's easy to you, card three. That's why you're going to be successful at it. So I'm sensing that you have something that you're a scholar at. You spent a lot of time researching this you've spent a lot of time doing this is what i'm getting yeah i'm getting card one as well you spent a lot of time doing this for instance if you spent a lot of time watching tv growing up if you spent a lot of time listening to the radio whether it's on cassettes ipods or now streaming stations this is also a way of studying you may not have noticed that you become a scholar of something around you because it's become so fluent and easy for you. Whatever this is I'm seeing is going to be, if you're patient, patient meaning not feeling like you have to make this happen, but allowing the knowledge of how it's gonna happen. Allow that to be revealed to you in your imagination. In your imagination, in your intuitiveness is what I'm sensing. In your intuition, allow this to be expressed to you. So we have heightened psychic ability. So you could be feeling very, very aware in this time in your life right now. You could be feeling very good. You could be feeling like you're flying. You could be feeling like you're at a high frequency. If not, maybe you desire to be, and that's why you're here. Either way, if you were drawn to this card, especially first, you are in such a high frequency or getting ready to be in, which I'm feeling most of you are already in this energy, that you're manifesting falling in love. All right, falling in love. So falling in love with something you love to do or someone that you love. So we have a, a, a centerpiece around the sun and happiness and brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. So having confidence in yourself simply is coming from just knowing who you are. The more you allow yourself to know who you are, your true version of you, the more you're uh, able to uh, create and manifest. All right, so we have Ace of Pentacles. So we have a new opportunity that is coming in for you, a new path and success. This could also be something new in general, maybe something new that you're gonna buy, something that you really wanted. We have a happy outcome coming out. So something is getting ready to work out for you. I feel like some of you, it could be buying something new, something that you've really wanted that you're getting ready to buy or you just did buy. I'm also seeing this could be an investment into something that you have that is going to turn out to be successful. You know it's successful and you know it will be successful because you feel really good doing it. It's very easy to you. You can do it all the time, every day. That's how you know it's this. So there should be no questioning on what this is. So being patient is really being patient with yourself in order to receive. So why do we have Page of Earth here? The Tower, Scorpio Energy, and the Empress. Yeah, I was definitely getting Empress vibes here. Feminine Energy, lots of feminine energy, balancing feminine energy, taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself, loving yourself, loving yourself. Yourself carries the key to many answers that you're seeking in life. You hold within you manifestations that will bring you a lot of success and also i'm sensing family is important here so we're going to get into this yeah nine of pentacles i was saying that earlier yeah so i'm definitely sensing that you discovering more of who you are is giving you a sense of confidence this allows you to attract more in your life yeah we have the star card at the bottom so you're meant to definitely be a star as well. So if you guys were drawn to this card, you are a star. 
you are an expert already in something and it's something that you love to do. You may think a lot of people love it, but not a lot of people love it like you. You're overlooking this is what I'm getting. This seems to be a common theme in all three cards here is overlooking what you have to offer, not realizing how much value is in your expertise and knowledge. It doesn't matter if you literally just watch a lot of TV and have a lot of knowledge. You can actually save a lot of people time by giving them reviews or letting them know what are the best for whatever genre instead of them having to search and, and actually invest their time in watching so many different shows and, and film, whatever it may be. Same thing as songs. Right now, I'm sensing you're holding a project something that maybe you've been working on for some time, even if you don't know. Some of you may not even know. Even if you've been at working at certain jobs, everything is perfectly aligned for where you're going. You never, you did not waste time. Let that go is what I'm hearing. You did not waste time anywhere. Everywhere you've been has been very valuable. But now I'm sensing that it's very important for you to be financially free so that you can continue to create. So whatever it is that you're doing, do not be afraid to charge. Do not be afraid to ask for more. Is what I'm hearing. The sun card, this should, this is a happy, happy, happy outcome. We have the death card here at the bottom as well. Let's get, I don't even want to get into that energy because we have love. We have love coming. So we have the Knight of Wands. We have something coming in your energy field. And first, I want to see if there's anything from your higher self that you want them to know because they're here for a reason. All right, your higher self wants you to know what you're going through is temporary, very temporary, and that your growth has been acknowledged by the universe. So whatever you've been going through, whatever tower moment here, something that appears to not be working out is actually perfectly aligned with working out for you which is why you're just letting it go and focusing on what you truly desire and what feels good. So imagining yourself being financially free, what would that look like? I'm getting dancing at the bottom. You would be dancing. What would you be doing? Wake up, pretend like you've shifted into this version of you. What would you be doing? If your life was fully aligned with joy, what would you be doing? This is where also you have an opportunity that's coming in and you are the empress. So you have many creations that you hold, many things you will birth into this universe. And if you go towards them, they will bring you financial freedom. What is it that they're going towards? Yeah, imagination, adventure, compassion. So you, once again, imagination is very, very important, possibility and support. So you may be feeling more supported than you've ever felt from the universe in, in right now in your life. This is actually going to pay off. I'm hearing a year from now, you're going to see just how aware you are compared to other people in your life. So we have ask for help, get more rest, nurture yourself. So with the feminine energy here, yes, compassion, nurturing. I was saying that earlier, nurturing yourself, giving yourself more support loving yourself so being very aware okay why do we have the nine of pentacles in reverse clarify this all right nine of cups okay death card is here so now we have to address it so we have falling in love spiritual growth enhanced intuition a new home all right, so some of you could be moving into a new home. You don't have to be. You could be getting prepared to move into a new home. Um, the tower is here, so if things seem to be falling apart, they're actually falling into place, as I usually say. And whatever seems to look like a tower, it's setting you up to a new path. Okay, some of you, it could be a new home for very, very few of you. But I'm definitely sensing that what I was saying earlier is there's something new and tangible that's coming in. Don't be afraid to ask for support, ask for help. Once again, asking in return for what you're giving. Once you start to see value in what you're doing and giving so natural on a day-to-day -day basis, you will realize that you have more value to offer. 
and I see that there's a happy outcome. Raise your standards. You have unlimited potential. So anything is possible and your imagination is envisioning a new reality. Give yourself permission to dream, believe in unlimited possibilities. So you are meant to believe in love. You might be meant, you may be inspired to write about love. You may be inspired to talk about love, um, be connected to it, love in general. And I'm just sensing with the Knight of Cups, there's a lot of love that's coming around you. Could also be in family, could be in tribe. Even though you're alone, it seems like on every card here, let's get why that is. Some of you really have a desire to connect. I see that that is going to be happening. Yeah, with the sun card here, we have connection. So we have connection here. Seven of swords, yeah, in reverse. Imagination, envision a new reality. Give yourself permission to dream. Believe in unlimited possibilities. So you are being expanded to believe in what you don't think is possible for yourself, for your family. You are being expanded even more so. You're being expanded into maybe, I'm hearing, paying your mortgage or your rent a month in advance, two months in advance, a year in advance. You're practicing abundance because you are meant to be abundant. And I'm seeing a lot of your support is coming from your creations, what you create and birth and bring into this world. All right. So we do have falling in love. I am sensing that you have someone maybe that you used to be in love with or someone that you're going to fall in love with is coming very, very soon. I believe with your growth has been acknowledged by the universe. The universe is saying that you've come a very long way in loving yourself, learning to love yourself, learning to choose yourself, learning to choose your happiness, and it's actually paying off. You're going to be doing a, having a career that you love, being in a partnership where you're actually in love here. Um, we have a lot of youthful energy, so you're just really letting go of some of the old ways of thinking, old ways of thinking, being responsible. And I know these things challenge our ego, being responsible and being an adult, being productive. All of those things get us acknowledgement in the 3D world, but it doesn't help us obtain what we truly desire, which is the state of being just simply fulfilled and happy. And not everything can give you that feeling. And you're learning that as you go. So you've come a very, very long way spiritually. You're coming up as the empress. So I'm seeing a lot more confidence, a lot. There's like a radiance of, of energy that is surrounding you in this time right now, a radiance of light that's surrounding you. Pregnancy could be very important. I'm seeing two people pregnant now and a happy outcome with the sun card here. Someone, it's a yes for those of you who... And those of you who have applied for something, I'm getting yes with the sun card here. There's a happy outcome. So some, some project that you're going to put out, it's a yes. It's successful. Um, you already feel it being successful. It's like feel the energy and imagine it being successful. And then you will start to channel all of the messages that are aligned with that feeling of joy, of success. So you're actually channeling a lot through your heart through your love, through how you feel, when you feel joy, when you feel happiness, when you feel love. It's important that you're in love because when you're in love, you're inspired. And you probably have heard of this, but I'm seeing a new relationship coming in here. Whoever this person is, it's a Knight of Cups, could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, does not have to be. Could be someone from your past with a death card that maybe you let go. Maybe they're just now realizing your worth. They're seeing you kind of do your thing glowing up here with the Empress. And a lot of people are going to be seeing you shine and do your thing because I'm seeing that you're starting to come out of your cocoon here. So if you guys were drawn to card number three, this is your reading in a message you were meant to hear right now in this time. So your growth has been acknowledged by the universe. What you're going through is very temporary. Your imagination is actually going to show you where you're going. It's going to show you your destination. It is your guidance. And I'm seeing that you are meant to expand yourself outside of the possible. So yes, it will feel uncomfortable expanding at times. Many mothers can tell you that from contractions that it's very uncomfortable, but you must expand for the birth to be out into the creative world. So yes, this is part of it. And it can be very uncomfortable. All right. Even receiving compliments 
even looking at yourself in the mirror. I don't know why this is coming to me, but really, really connecting with yourself. You are diving deeper and deeper and deeper. So it's giving you more confidence because you know you're getting to know yourself on a deeper level with the Empress here. So if you guys were drawn to this card, definitely check out the tarotchest.com for the Who Am I video that might inspire you or anything that I have going on in the description box below. Until the next pick a card reading, I will see you guys in. In the meantime, I'm out.